The word drugs brings to mind many different images and ideas. In this context, a drug is a chemical that affects your central nervous system, causing a change in behaviour and possibly addiction. There are four types of drugs that have different effects that we're going to look at in this video. We'll look at examples of each type, how they affect our nervous system and change our behaviour, before looking in more detail at the effects and possible dangers through misuse of two legal drugs, alcohol and tobacco. To begin with, let's look at these four types of drug. Remember that a drug is a chemical that affects the nervous system causing a change in behaviour and possible addiction. Addiction is where someone needs to take the drug in order for their body to work at a normal level. Firstly then, stimulants. As the name suggests, stimulants affect you by speeding up reactions. Remember that speeding up reactions means reducing a reaction time, which is the time between a stimulus and your body responding to it. Caffeine is an example of a stimulant. Stimulants increase the speed of reaction by increasing the amount of neurotransmitter released at a synapse. This makes the neurotransmitter diffuse across the synapse faster, increasing the speed with which the message continues along the next neuron. Our second type of drug has the opposite effect to stimulants. Depressants affect us by slowing down reactions, increasing reaction times. Alcohol is an example of a depressant. Because alcohol makes you take longer to react to a stimulus, this is why it's illegal to drive with alcohol in your blood above a certain level. Depressants work by slowing down brain activity, increasing the time taken for messages to pass on to the effectors around the body. The third type of drug we'll now look at are painkillers. An example of a painkiller is morphine. Painkillers work by blocking nerve impulses. If a neuron is carrying a pain message towards the brain and it's blocked, the brain will not receive the message and so the person doesn't feel the pain. This happens because the painkiller molecules sit in the receptors in synapses so that the neurotransmitter is unable to bind to them, meaning a new impulse is not started in the following neuron. Finally, hallucinogens change the way we perceive or experience the world around us. LSD is an example of a hallucinogen. These cause the messages that our brain receives, which would allow us to understand what's going on around us, to be very confused, so that the way we respond to things that we're seeing, hearing or feeling might well be very different to what's normal. Smoking has become less common in the UK over the past few decades, as people have understood more the harmful effects associated with it. Nicotine is the addictive drug in tobacco. It's a stimulant, working in a similar way to caffeine, as well as being one of the most addictive substances we know. As well as nicotine, smoking also causes many other substances to enter your body. Carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen that your blood can carry. This is particularly dangerous for pregnant women, where the reduced oxygen can stop the developing child from growing properly. This leads to an increased risk of miscarriage, or at least a low weight at birth. It's well known that smoking causes cancer. A substance that causes cancer is called a carcinogen, and one of the many chemicals in tobacco smoke that is a carcinogen is tar. Because of how the smoke is breathed in, smokers are most at risk of developing cancer in their lung, throat or mouth. Alcohol is a depressant, making it slow down reactions. The short-term effects of consuming alcohol are blurred vision, lowered inhibitions, which means you're more likely to do things that you wouldn't do without drinking, for example taking risks, as well as slower reactions. Consuming large amounts of alcohol long-term can lead to liver cirrhosis and brain damage. This damage to the liver can leave alcoholics needing a liver transplant. A transplant would need to come from somebody with similar tissues to the alcoholic. As there's a shortage of donor organs, there are serious ethical debates about whether someone who requires an organ because of drug abuse, for example alcoholism, should be entitled to that organ. Doctors need to make decisions about who needs and deserves donor organs when more patients need a transplant than there are donor organs available. In summary then, Drugs are chemicals that affect the nervous system, causing a change in behaviour. Stimulants, such as caffeine, speed up reactions. Depressants, such as alcohol, slow reactions. Painkillers, like morphine, block nerve impulses. 
and hallucinogens such as LSD change the way we perceive what's happening around us. Several chemicals in tobacco smoke have an effect on health. Nicotine is addictive and acts as a stimulant. Tar causes cancer and carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen being carried by the blood. Alcohol has several short and long term effects. In the short term it leads to blurred vision, reduced inhibitions and slower reactions. Long term abuse of alcohol can lead to liver cirrhosis, possibly requiring a transplant and brain damage.